Hilary, Charles and Dave, it's an absolute pleasure to catch up with you guys again. Um, welcome to Smooth Country. Thank you. Thanks We're happy us. to be here. Do you know, it's, it's almost a year since we caught up together and it was again over a Zoom because of everything that's yeah. been going on. And I don't know if you recall or not, but we were all in this kind of middle of this. We didn't know how long it was going to last. We didn't know what was going on in our lives. And there was so much uncertainty. And we, we feel like now we've come a long way. You guys clearly have. You've, you've got a new album out today. You've been busy touring as well. So, I mean, the contrast couldn't be more stark for it. Could, could it <laughs> slowly but surely feels like uh you know things are you know at least getting getting back into the swing of things for us um you know finishing the tour up here shortly and um and obviously you know just being able to put out this this new project i mean i think that was the one silver lining is we were able to be kind of productive and write a lot of music and spend time you know making music while we were off the road and so there was a little bit of beauty in that for us that we kind of got to focus on the um you know on that create that creating uh side of of the spectrum because there's you know you're always kind of balancing that touring versus getting back and writing you know kind of kind of balance uh of uh of of the machine so to speak and so it was nice to be able to spend that much time in the studio and in the writing room yeah i think that was the writing was the one thing that that's the one thing we know how to do, no matter what. I mean, when things shut down, we obviously, uh, we got together on Zoom uh, like this. And then when we were safely able to get in person, we came over to my studio in my basement at my home and wrote and wrote and just tried to keep our heads down and write music, um, you know, with all the uncertainty like you were talking about. So that was our, our, our happy place throughout the pandemic was writing music. Um, then we were able to get in the studio with Dan Huff and put this whole record together. So we're we're thrilled about it. It's a lot of our personal journey. It's a, a lot of reflective songs over the last, you know, over the course of our career as a band for 15 years and the direction and, and journey our music has taken us on. So there's a lot of reflective material and some deeper stuff, some fun stuff. So we're, we're thrilled to be uh, supporting the new project. And it's been fun to be able to play it on the road as well. And I suppose when you consider it, we're very fortunate to be in the creative industries to a degree, we could get on with what we do, whereas an awful lot of people were affected and they, they clearly couldn't even leave the house or, or go about their business. So from that point of view, and I, I guess it's a perfect example of every cloud for you guys, because like you say, at least you didn't have all the other distractions of you know normal times. You could just get on. Now, I'm told you've been working on so much music, almost 60 tracks. If that's yeah. true, how do you even narrow that down to, you know, to, to, to there's 14 tracks on the on the on the new album? So yeah. how do you decide what goes on and what doesn't? Mm. That's it's a good old fashioned uh, cage match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the beautiful thing I think about the three of us is that not only are our musical tastes pretty similar, we all really kind of gravitate towards the same songs. It's, I mean, there are, there have been a handful of songs, I think over the course of our career where it's like, there might be a little bit of persuasion that happens, but the, the rule for us is, is if we're not all three, yeah. on board or can't or if one of the three of us can't really see it yeah. then we don't do it and so there's this nice um kind of agreement that we have and and with this project in particular I mean we wrote so much of it together and also I think we were all just in a place of being I think closer friends and bandmates than we've ever been before so there was a lot of of just alignment I think in heart and yeah. Sure. Yeah. There's also a song I've noticed on here, a collaboration, like a, a truly, I mean, multiple artists yeah. on there, you know, with Carly Pierce and Thomas Rhett and Darius Rucker too. How did that come about? And, and how, why those three individuals? Well, they, I think why those three is because they really truly are, you know, they're, they're, they're in the, you know, I would say closest group of artists, friends that we have. Um, and so, t uh, Thomas Rhett and I actually wrote that we were down at the beach, um, and watching our kids play. And he goes, we were, you know, each had like a beer in our hand. He was like, friends don't let friends drink alone. And we we're like, we should, you know, he was like, we should write this song. And, um, and so, yeah, we wrote that down at the beach and then I played it for Darius Rucker on the golf course. 
And I was like, would you want to sing on this with us? And, and he said, yes. And then we knew we needed to get another strong female in there to balance out the, uh, <laughs> the male energy. And so, uh, so Carly heard it and she loved it. And, and, you know, I think that was the thing for us was like, listen, you know, we'd love to have y'all in there. Cause we really did want to have our actual friends. You know, we want people to, they can hear it and, and, and feel it when it's, when it really, you know, is genuine. And, uh, it's just a fun song. I think, you know, we want to have some songs like, like, like a lady and friends don't let friends drink alone to balance out, you know, some of the heavier material, like worship what I hate. Um, you know, we're talking this town and I think, I think, you know, uh, friends on that friends is, is going to be one of those really fun live show songs for a long time for us. And speaking of live, you've been touring with Carly as well. How's that been going? Oh, it's been wonderful. I mean, we've had, so to Neil arts, Nico moon and Carly Pierce out on tour with us. And so, um, for the first time, maybe in my career, it's been a balance of men and women sharing the stage every <laughs> night. Um, I'm, I'm usually very outnumbered, um, but it's been, it's been wonderful. And just to be able to get back into the live show environment together with the fans, it's been so special. I mean, I think every tour has meant so much to us over the years, but this one, you know, being able to, to really get to do this, it's, you know, it is, yeah. it is such a gift that we don't take for granted. I think now more than ever. And I get to, I'm, I, I feel fortunate every night. I get to uh, sing, I hope you're happy now with Carly. I get to sing Lee Bryce's part, <laughs> um, which is great. I just think that song is such a just special classic country song that'll be around for a long time. So, mm. so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And I think you're right. I mean, a lot of us have come to terms with the fact because we couldn't do even normal things like going for a meal or catching up with friends and family and stuff. And now I think we appreciate that sort of thing more than ever before. But for you guys, you must have been I know you love touring and you love connecting with the fans, but it must have been extra special when you got back on stage again, even better than ever before. Is that is that right? Yeah, I mean, I, it feels different this time around, for sure. I mean, I think we say it every night from stage, but we will never take it for granted ever again because we didn't have it for almost two years of not being able to step on stage um, and connect with people, see them in person, watch their emotion. You know, hot summer, sweaty nights, <laughs> getting to play shows outdoors has been so much fun. So it feels like it's, I don't know, kind of a holy moment this year, being able to connect with people um, in person. It's a lot of people's first time sort of back out um and we don't take it lightly it's a special honor to to share that experience with them so it's a gift every night feels like a win we come off stage going yes we got to we got to play tonight it was an honor to get to do it well so if if, if ever there's a lesson it's this whole pandemic thing is it's kind of reset us all hasn't it to appreciate everything that we do these days Absolutely. um i i have to say i've been following your journey because clearly you tweet all the time like where you're going next and what you've just been doing and your photographs and from a uk point of view it's we're very envious because you guys got ahead of us for you got back out there again sooner than we did um and we've only just started to come back out again and play, if you like. So that leads me to another question. Um, and I know you're busy touring in the U.S. right now. And there's a lot of U.S. to cover. But uh, is there any possibility you could tell your fans in the U.K. that at some stage you'll come back here? Oh, oh no, absolutely. There's absolutely no question that, that we're already in talks of when can we get back over to the U.K. and just international uh, tour dates again. And like you said, you know, it's just been a tricky time and everybody, all the, you know, everybody's got different rules as you go around and, and we want everyone to be as safe and feel as safe as they can. But I mean, the UK is one of our strongest fan bases and we cannot wait, especially there's so many songs too. Like we haven't gotten to play in front of the UK fans. Like what if I never get over you, you know, an entire record, an, an entire record <laughs> that whole ocean record. Um, and Champagne Night and all the, you know, so there's, it just, it really is a special place for us. And, and, you know, we've been a band now for 15 years and I will say that, you know, a lot of the shows that we play in, in the UK still stand up oh at the top God. for us. Yeah. It's yes. some of our, our most fun that we can ever remember, especially the O2. That was yeah. such a bucket list moment. And we are, you know, always talking about future plans, touring plans, and that is always a question of when is it possible and and i think similarly to even this tour in north america it's as soon as we got the green light like we went and so i think what 
we're going to try to do is just be as prepared and ready and on go as we can. And then when we can, we will be there because we miss it so much. We miss y'all so much. <laughs> I said it at the beginning of this interview. I'm like, I can't wait until we can do this in person again. Yeah. It's just, um, it's just so, um, it's just been a weird time, but we will be there again. Well, that's so good to hear. And it'll be lovely to get you actually face to face in a studio, maybe have a share a cup of coffee over, you know, a little chat no or doubt. something, rather than the kind of the distant, um, you know, through a, <laughs> through a screen thing, as good as this is. But uh, yeah. you're so right, because we've missed out so much. I, 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 you just made me think about, you know, the, the other material as well that we haven't seen you perform because it's been quite a while, hasn't it? So we definitely want to see you over here. So I'll, I'll leave that thought with you and just say that it is very, very safe over here again now. So don't, oh, yeah. don't, think, yeah. don't think you can't come here. Um, oh, thank you. But one last thing as well, I just I wanted to say as, as a fan who, you know, is from a distance, you, we see you guys and what you're getting up to your uh, webisode Wednesdays. I think that's a brilliant idea <laughs> these days that we, we get to see a little bit behind the scenes. We get to see the real you, you know, the off the off the cuff stuff as well. I, I think that's a wonderful idea. Hopefully you'll keep it going. Yes, we will. We will. Yeah. That webisode Wednesdays is Dave's brainchild. Wow. <laughs> and so we got to bring it back. Like it was right around your birthday. Mm -hmm. I feel like right as the tour was starting back and um, we love it. I mean, it's what, it's how we really started with our online presence as a band. And, and it is, it's fun for us. And, and, and selfishly, it becomes a little bit of a video diary because we get to go back and look, you know, over these last several months and years, even if you go before um, this tour and, and just see how, green we were see how funny we thought we were um and you know all of the experiences that we we got to have along the way well it's wonderful for us to to experience that alongside you so um if you can keep it going that'll be uh, we we very much appreciate that oh, um, thank I, you. i'm i'm just curious as well obviously you were saying how much you appreciate the touring and and you know getting back in the studio and getting your songs on well, when you're coming towards the end of a tour, does it get to the stage where you go, do you know what, I really miss home cooking or I really miss the kids? Or are you looking forward to get, getting back into the normal stuff as well? Absolutely. I think, I think so. it's it's definitely both are amazing. Both like we, I feel like we have this gift of of getting to live in both worlds and, and they really do. They're always kind of connected as well, whether it's our families are out with us or we're FaceTiming them every chance we get. So it never feels like two separate worlds, but it is nice to, um, to really rest our bodies. You know, I'll speak for myself, like the road can really wear your body down. And so resting in your own bed at night, there is truly nothing like it. Um, so I can tell that, that I'm, I'm in need of that, you know, but it's also beautiful to be able to go and get to look at my three daughters and tell them like, I'm going to do what mommy's meant to do and I'll be home in a couple of days or get to bring them along. So it really is, um, it's a gift. And I think we enjoy and need both for sure to be our best. Yeah. Well, listen, good luck with everything. The album I absolutely love, so I don't think you'll need any luck at all. But as always, it's, it's such a pleasure catching up with the three of you. And like you say, hopefully one day we'll be able to do it so we're, yes. we're a little closer to each other. Yes. No doubt about it. Thank you so much. Looking okay. forward to it. Thanks for having us. All the best.